Good morning. Welcome to First Presbyterian Church. We're glad you all could be here. As is customary, on the first Sunday of the month, we sing happy birthday to our, this month, November birthday people. So would the November birthday people please rise? Thank you, Alejandro. Um, please avail yourself of today's announcements in your bulletin, including the people that we pray for. Uh, also, an announcement that Megan Griffith's group will be meeting, no, Dana. Dana Griffith's group will be meeting in the parlor with Mark's group because Dana's not here today. So please go to the parlor for your small group. Um, I'd like to uh, remind you that we are going to be doing a play together called Journey to Bethlehem on Saturday, December 14th. We want all of us to participate in some way or another. Um, and there is a meeting after church in the chapel to do some casting and discussion and arrangements. So um, please participate in the retelling of and rebuilding of the wonder in this miraculous story. The grace of Jesus Christ, the love. Would you please stand up? Sorry about that. The grace of Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. This, this is, is the, the day, day that the, the Lord, Lord has made. made. We, we will, will rejoice, rejoice and, and be glad, glad in it. Please join in How Firm a Foundation, verses 1 through 3, number 361, in your hymnal.
may be seated. Our reading this morning comes from the prophet Isaiah. Listen for the word of God. But now thus says the Lord, he who created you, O Jacob, he who formed you, O Israel, do not fear, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by name, and you are mine. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. And through the rivers, they shall not overwhelm you. When you walk through fire, you shall not be burned, and the flame shall not consume you. Do not remember the former things or consider the things of old, for I am about to do a new thing. Now it springs forth. Do you not perceive it? I will make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. The wild animals will honor me, the jackals and ostriches, for I give water in the wilderness, rivers in the desert, to give drink to my chosen people, the people I have formed for myself, so they may declare my praise. This is the word of the Lord. Amen. Today is our last small group discernment session. A round of applause, I assume, from some of you. Some of you I know have loved every minute of these discussions. You have found the questions and assignments interesting and enjoyed the challenge. It has brought new insights for some of us. Others of you weren't so sure about this revision process, but your church asked and you answered. You stepped a little or maybe a lot out of your comfort zone and you gave it your best. So well done. We are the only church in the history of the Center for Progressive Renewal that has done the revision process that gave up seven Sunday mornings to include the entire congregation. You are unique. Your energy and enthusiasm have been wonderful to see. As we prepare to disperse for our last session, it is good to remind ourselves of our purpose. We Christians have truly only one purpose, to love well, to love well, which we understand means to love others as God in Christ loves us. We are not a church of white collars or blue collars or pink collars or no collars. We are not a church exclusively of the wealthy or the poor. We are not a church of only one race. We are a people who, loved by God in Christ and are equipped by the Spirit of Christ to love well, to bring liberation and wholeness. We love well as EMTs and firefighters and police rushing off to emergency calls. We love well as business leaders providing services and products to benefit others while attending ethically to both share and stakeholders. We love well as teachers in classrooms helping the next generation grow and flourish and realize all their potential. We love well as retirees, volunteering in our churches, in our communities, and caring for our families. Whoever we are, wherever we are, with the mind and heart that Christ has given us, we love well. And today, in our last small group discussion, and next Sunday in our Convergence Summit, hashtag potluck, we will ask in what particular ways God is calling this church in this time 
to love well. What new thing God will spring forth with us. So, once more unto the breach, dear friends, once more. Ruth, we're in the parlor. We'll see you up there. Thank you. 
Well, welcome back, everyone. And again, well done. You took a risk. You've leaned in, exchanged ideas, dreamed, imagined, listened. And there's a good future ahead as you write the next chapter of the story that is this church. So I encourage you, I hope all of you will come, invite those who haven't participated to come next week. Bring all of this together and see what we can discern together how to be this church. With gratitude for one another, with gratitude for the Spirit of God among us, moving us, challenging us, calling us, let us bring our tithes and offerings and bless them to go about the work of God in the world.
Blessed are you, God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have these gifts to share. Accept and use our offerings and us to bring your salvation, liberation, and wholeness to all people and to all the earth. Amen. You may be seated. Let us turn our hearts and our minds to those who need us to pray for them. Holy God, we pray for our world, that it may be a place of abundance for all, and health and goodness of fresh water and air and soil. Make us remember to be the good stewards you have called us to be. The generations to come will bless us for our tending of your creation. We pray for all the nations and all peoples, that we may learn to use our differences to build out of contrast greater things, learning from one another, shaping things together, imagining things we would not have thought of on our own. Grant us to be co-creators all around the world. We pray for leaders to be people of wisdom and humility, who understand the needs and concerns of those who have so little, those who are refugees, those who are being beaten down and left voiceless. Give us such leaders. We pray for all those who struggle, all those who are ill. We pray especially for those who have been listed in our bulletin, part of our fellowship. Hear our prayers also for those whose names come to mind in this moment of silence. Now hear us as we pray as you have taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, to stand for our closing hymn, How Firm a Foundation, verses 4 and 5. out into the world in peace. Have courage. Hold on to what is good. Return no one evil for evil. Strengthen the faint-hearted. Support the weak and help the suffering. Honor all people. Love and serve the Lord, rejoicing in the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.